Well, Rob, f first thing, obviously, to ask is, um, how are you? You know, I'm really positive, uh, really good, uh, considering, obviously, the news uh, a week, week later on. Um, but apart from the voice and bits and bats, you know, muscles flickering, other than that, I feel absolutely normal. So, um, I'm really positive about that. Really keen to carry on as normal um, and just get on with life. Um, obviously, this bit is, you know, it coming out and people finding out is, you know, sort of a big time. But when it dies down, I'm pretty keen to, you know, just get on with life, continue coaching to the best I can, and like I say, pick kids up from school and. Such so I feel pretty good, mate. I've been really positive. My voice isn't always like this, but um, I'm, I'm great, mate. Constantly, yeah. Obviously, it must. I mean, it's it's devastating news for for you and and the your family and the the club and everybody. What you heard about a week ago? Yeah, a week today I was diagnosed. Uh, so, you know, since then. Um, like I said before, you never really plan or get yourself ready to wear news where there's no cure. Um, so, you know, most of the time I've been fine. All the time, you, you know, you break down and stuff, but I would imagine there's no time limit on that. And, you know, so, um, but when I'm over this stage, or honeymoon stage, as you call it, um, I really keen to get back as normal and you know whenever I'm able bodied and feel fit and strong you know, and healthy I want it you know to do normal things and not be treated any different what I don't want is pity I think that's a scary thing that you know you think people feel something <laughs> I don't want that I just want to crack on like normal